This is a video for how to go about creating an auxiliary view of an object on a drawing sheet in Fusion 360. You will notice that I have a part here that I've just called number three, and I have this kind of arced, you know, pipe shape here. And what I'm wanting to do is try to find a way to project the true size and shape of this surface right here on the drawing sheet that I've created. So, you know, it's for the sake of time, I've gone in and placed the front view of the object. I've added, you know, some centerline bisectors for the holes that we see. And what I want to do is, you know, project that auxiliary view, you know, and if you're a former inventor user like myself, I'm used to coming up and clicking on, you know, a, you know, a button and I can just project an auxiliary view off of any inclined line, you know, in the drawing sheet. And as of the time I'm making this video, an auxiliary view option doesn't exist within Fusion. So I'm going to show you how to kind of work around this and place that auxiliary view on your, on your drawing sheet. So we're going to go back to the part and, you know, the surface that I want is this surface right here. That's what I would be projecting. So, you know, again, off the front, view I would try to be projecting the true size and shape of this surface so what I want to do is come down to where it says look at I'm gonna use my look at function and I'm gonna click on this front surface and it's gonna to turn to where I have a perfect perpendicular 90 degree angle view of that object and while I have this um, perfect you know 90 degree angle view I'm gonna create a new view and I'm gonna come over I'm gonna right click on named views and go to new named view and I'm gonna just come down here and just you know tap once on it and I'm gonna call this auxiliary auxiliary always fun to spell auxiliary view and I'm going to hit enter and this right here is going to be in our, our auxiliary view and what's nice about this is you know I can double click on top and I can double click on front and I can go to auxiliary view now and it's going to automatically flip there for me you can do this with any type of a view that you would like to save or place within fusion I need to come up and I need to say save and I'm just going to say okay for user saved just to make sure that I saved because we need to go back to our drawing sheet now and I'm going to give it a second oh it's already there when I came over sometimes it takes a second it's warning me that there's been an update to the part so I need to click on my update button up here and by clicking update what happened is now I can come up to base view and I'm going to come back over and you see where it says front that auxiliary view is sitting here waiting for me to place I can go to auxiliary view I can say you know what I need to make this about you know a half a size and I can just tap for an auxiliary view and say OK. Now it might be easier for us. I'm going to double click here and let's go ahead and just take the hidden lines out of that, just have the visible edges. And you know, now I can come in and start placing center marks. I can do all kinds of uh, new things. Now we have a you know a perfect auxiliary view. If you want to you know drag it out and try to place it to where it would look like you know it was you know projected off of that, you could. But basically, you know, all you really need is just the view itself. You can even come up and grab a hold of the text function and label this an auxiliary view. But that's how you can go about placing that auxiliary view because you know the whole purpose of an auxiliary view is just to be able to dimension size and location dimensions of a surface, you know, without having them foreshortened. You know, like the foreshortened surface would be here. We want that true size and shape, and that is the auxiliary view. So one thing that's neat to remember is anytime you have a view that you want to save, that you would be like, let's say, using to work, you can, you know, save any of those views. And create a new named view for anything and name it whatever you wish and then when you go into you know place a new view it's going to be right here in your pull down menu very convenient very cool thing to remember when using fusion so this has been a video for how to go about creating an auxiliary view on a drawing in fusion 360.